Hey guys, it's Perry with GC Trading Systems, and in today's video, we're going to be going over how to start trading with less than $100. We get a ton of questions all the time asking us how we can start trading with a little amount of capital and actually make a good amount of income off of it. So in today's video, we're going to be covering that. I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step little guide, and hopefully by the end of the video, you can start trading with a small amount of capital. If you guys are unfamiliar with GC Trading Systems, we are a virtual trade floor, and within this virtual trade floor, we have a junior trader program, which is specifically designed to get you from beginner or intermediate level up to advanced and pro level as fast as possible. We have 30 day guarantee on funding, a whole comprehensive course, a proprietary strategy and indicator, and much more. If that sounds like something that you'd be interested in. Go ahead and click the first link down below and join the program. Let's get into the video. Okay, looking over into the video now, how to start trading with less than $100. So in step one, we're going to consider what market we actually want to trade. This is a Big, big option, you can always pivot, but it's really important that whatever market you choose initially, you stick with for a little bit, just so that way you can get acquainted with all the vocabulary and really you know, learn that market. So there's a ton of different markets to choose from. You could choose Forex, futures, options, stocks, crypto, commodities, and there's a bunch more. Um, one thing to note though, is that different countries will have different advantages with markets. So if you are in the United States, you can pretty much trade all of these and be fine. And there's going to be, you know, pretty much the same advantages everywhere. But if you are, um, trading out of India or something, you might only have access to Forex and commodities. And so that's definitely something to consider, um, depending on where you live. So what I want you to do first is actually do some research on which market is most beneficial for your country. Maybe you live in a place that has their own stock market and maybe that's good for you. Or maybe you live in a place that doesn't have anything so you just have to go with Forex because it's just the general market that you can trade. But um, just a little rule of thumb, generally Forex is going to be okay pretty much anywhere you live. Um, if you're not in the United States or Canada, it's gonna be pretty hard for you to trade any of these three here, the futures, options, or stocks, stock market, just because um, those are kind of those are kind of pegged to the US and pretty much for US customers only. Um, you can always get overseas accounts. Um, we'll kind of go over that in a little bit, but um, typically Forex and commodities is probably gonna be your best bet. So, and the cost of doing that's gonna be zero bucks. Just do some research. That's not gonna cost you guys anything. Just do some research and choose your market. And step two, we're actually going to find a place for analysis. Whatever broker uh, within the, whatever market that you choose, they generally have good platforms that are gonna allow you to analyze stocks or analyze tickers and such. But um, what most of the pros and pretty much everyone uses is a platform called TradingView. TradingView has a ton of different tools, pretty much every ticker you can possibly think of. Um, literally everyone uses them. If you've seen a chart on Instagram or YouTube or something, chances are it's probably TradingView. Luckily for you guys, we're actually partners with them. So if you click the first link down below, you can sign up for free um, and you can get pretty much a lifetime free account with them. So uh, again, that's gonna cost you guys nothing. nothing. That's the first link down below. Moving into step three, we want to actually set up a brokerage account. For the sake of this video, because we trade futures at GC Trading Systems, I'm just gonna give you guys the best broker for futures. But um, on the screen, I've also given you guys some ideal brokers that I have used in the past for different markets, ones that I trust, ones that I know that are good. And yeah, you can just go through and you know choose whatever market you have and kind of choose the brokers based off of that. So if you're into Forex, um, using Oanda or MT4, MT4 is a platform, but you can always push brokers through. Uh, different brokers through MT4, but either of these two are probably going to be the best for you uh, as far as safety and regulation. For stocks, uh, Charles Schwab, Robinhood, Webull, any of those are generally okay, uh, not going to cost you anything. Crypto, Binance is the only one that I really trust, and Coinbase, pretty much everyone else now is uh, definitely a little sketchy. As far as features goes, you can either go with Tradeovate, Ninja Trader, or Prop Firms. I put flat firms here, I meant to put Prop Firms. Most of these brokers are free, like I said, but there comes the whole capital dilemma. If you're trying to start trading with less than $100, um, that's pretty much impossible. No matter what broker you go to, they're probably gonna require a minimum of one to $200 into an account. So how exactly are we gonna get around that? We're gonna get around that with prop firms. If you don't know what prop firms are, basically what you're going to do inside of a prop firm is you're gonna sign up for an evaluation for a certain amount of money. So let's say you wanted to trade with $25,000. You're gonna to go to this prop firm, give them one to 200 bucks for an evaluation. And if you pass all of the rules within this evaluation, they're gonna give you that $25,000 in capital to actually trade with. And this is how you get around the capital issue if you have a little amount of capital. As I just said, most prop firms are going to charge you one to 200 bucks, possibly even more. Um, luckily for you guys, we have a partner called Apex Trader Funding and we actually have a 
uh, coupon link for you guys. So you can sign up for a $25,000 eval, eval today for just 48 bucks. Um, that is a steal, especially in the futures market. If you went to Forex or any other futures market, generally they're gonna charge five to 600 bucks for their minimum accounts and then push that all the way up to two to $3,000. So uh, definitely do that. It'll be the second link in the description down below and it'll take you straight to the website and you can just sign up using the coupon that's in the description. Yeah, if you have a small amount of capital, doesn't matter what market you're in, uh, generally the prop firm route is going to be the way to go. Just make sure if you are doing it on the Forex side, you are very uh, diligent in your um, studying of the prop firm that you're choosing because a lot of prop firms on the Forex side are having some issues with getting sued and stuff right now because they are manipulating data. So just make sure you do your due diligence. Um, but generally I would stick to the future side as everything is pretty much regulated, including these prop firms. So uh, Apex is definitely our preferred prop firm. We've had payouts from them in the past. All of our members use them. They're definitely the, the one to go with. You're gonna to wanna to learn about your market. Take the time and learn everything there is to know about your market. Put yourself in the best possible position to be successful. If you're coming into a new market or like let's say a new class or a new sport or something, you're not going to want to go without knowing anything. That's not a good way to do it. Uh, you're going to put yourself in the position to fail basically right off the bat. So why don't you do yourself a favor and do a ton of studying at first, you know, in the first one to two months, get a really good foundation of knowledge, understanding of all of the concepts and stuff like that. And then you can go in and you know that you at least have a chance to succeed. You'll probably still fail, but your chances of succeeding are way higher than just going in without knowing anything. If you're looking for a fast path to learning all this knowledge and you want to skip all the bad information out on the internet, and trust me, there is a ton of bad trading information out there, um, try mentorship. Mentors can advance your trading in years in just months. Uh, for an example, the other co-owner and I, Yard Cow, we have a combined trading experience of around 13 years. We've had 13 years of trading where we've gone through hardships, you know, 20 to 30 strategies, we've coded algorithms, we've been through all of these hardships, know the ups and downs of trading. If you had us as mentors, whenever you come to any of those roadblocks, we've already passed them. You know, we've already broken down those roadblocks so we can get you through it in, you know, half the time that it would take you. You wouldn't have to go out and do your own research. We'd be able to guide you, you know, around that roadblock or through it. So. If you're interested in something like that, we have a junior trader program here on the floor that I mentioned earlier in the video. It's only $40 a week. You can join, see if you like it. We'll mentor you pretty much every step of the way. Uh, along with that program, you're getting access to our strategy, so you don't even have to choose the strategy, which we'll go over in the next slide. Uh, daily live trading to kind of mentor you and a junior trader course, which is going to walk you through everything you need to know about futures and learning how to trade them and learning how to analyze charts. It's about a two to three hour course and much, much more. So again, if you're interested, go ahead and click the third link down below. And then number five, find a strategy. Strategies are absolutely everywhere, but what is truly important is what you do with them. You wanna take the time and focus on executing them perfectly and learning the ins and outs. I see so many traders get shiny object syndrome and they'll, they'll skip from strategy to strategy to strategy. They won't even give the current strategy that they're working with time to prove itself. You know, if it has two to three losers in a row, that might just be the probabilities it's hitting, but some traders just can't handle that and they'll skip to a new strategy and a new strategy. And this is how traders lose so much money. You just need to choose a strategy, stick with it. Um, even if the strategy is bad long-term and ends up being horrible, at least you've taught yourself the ability to the ability to stick with something, stick with the strategy, and um, more importantly, learn how to execute it perfectly. So trading is not a fast process. The more time you take and the more diligent you are in your studies, the more rewarded you'll be. If you don't know anything, you need to be diligent in studying as much as possible. Studying is going to, oh, studying the chart, studying vocabulary, studying psychology, studying everything is going to put you miles ahead of everybody else that is just clicking buy and sell randomly. So look for strategies on YouTube. Again, we have a strategy within our mentorship. It's still that $40 charge a month or a week. Um, otherwise, you can just look for some strategies on YouTube. I will let you know that they probably aren't the best, but if you're just looking to focus and practice execution and you just need something to trade, you can always go to YouTube and of course that's free. And lastly, compound your wins. Once you're, winning or once you're winning psychologically and financially, take the time to compound, become a ghost. I see so many traders get a couple of wins and then they'll go out and start bragging and then karma usually catches up to them and then they stop winning. So um, yeah, just become a ghost. You know, Take your wins, compound them as much as possible, especially if you're on a winning streak. Continue to win and stack them over and over. 1% a day is 300 plus percent at the end of the year. Imagine growing 300% in one year. Focus on growing 1% a day, and by the end of the year, you'll be a completely different trader than you are today. And then the cost, it doesn't cost you anything. You're probably gonna gain money out of that. How much, can't be said, but of course you could eat up the initial cost of everything else. And then just going through the totals, choosing your market, $0, analyze your market, $0, find your broker, 48, grow your knowledge, 40, 
and then zero and zero. So a total of around $88. So we actually did it for $12 less than $100. And again, this whole this whole step-by-step -step process I just took you through is gonna allow you to trade with $25,000, of course, assuming that you pass your account challenge, but trade with $25,000 and you're gonna have everything that you need to be a, to be a successful trader for almost no cost. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this walkthrough and you got something out of it, especially if you haven't traded yet and you're just looking for a tutorial to learn how to trade. Again, if you're interested in joining that junior trader program, you can click the third link down below and you can get access to it there. Otherwise, if you like this video, please leave a like and I'll see you all in the next one.